Shall we recreate the scene where you picked me up? Although I have gotten a bit bigger now. You are a bit bigger. We're running up that hill and discovering all sorts of fun behind the scenes moments from season four of Stranger Things. Which scene was completely ruined by someone missing their entrance? Let's enter the upside down and find out. Number one. Part of what makes Vecna so compelling is his creepy look. You may be surprised to learn that the Stranger Things team created Vecna almost entirely with practical effects. One of the main goals of prosthetics designer Barry Gower was to create the character as close to 100% as possible. Actor Jamie Campbell Power had to endure a grueling prosthetic application process. They glued different pieces of prosthetics directly to Campbell's skin. How many pieces? About 2,425. The reason was, it gave Campbell more movement than a rubber suit would, and it looked more natural. The downsides though, aren't pretty. It took about 7 hours to apply everything, and it was very hot to wear, so Campbell would spend time in an air-conditioned tent in between takes. To give him a slimy, gross look, he was painted with glossy silicone, and would sometimes be coated with jelly. Another unique part about Vecna's character is his eerie void. The broken house was a real set they built on a blue screen, with giant red lights shining down. Put it all together, and you get some seriously badass scenes. Number 2 Eleven's shaved head back in Season 1 is iconic, but Millie Bobby Brown wasn't looking to actually shave her head again for the role. This time around, they went with a wig for all of the flashback scenes with Eleven. To get the wig on and looking proper, it took about an hour. Yeah, I think Millie is one of the longest getting ready, it's just because of her wigs. Number 3 Billy is back. Well, at least in a creepy hallucination kind of way. Dacre Montgomery was super excited to be able to reprise his role as Billy Hargrove, as he showed when he was getting his gnarly prosthetics applied. Even though he was only in one scene, it was a massive challenge to pull off due to COVID restrictions. The solution was to have him film all of his scenes separately in Australia, while director Sean Levy directed him over a video call. That sequence in episode 4 was one of the biggest Rubik's Cube challenges of my directing career. This took place an entire year after they had already filmed Sadie Sink scenes. Yet, you would be none the wiser watching the scene, as they blended the two actors' performances seamlessly. Number 4 the epic fight scene in episode 4 showcased how well the cast and crew can do action. It was one long take, so everyone had to be on their A-game. One take was going particularly well, and seemed like it was going to be the perfect run. However, when they got to the very end, one of the stunt guys missed his cue, leaving everyone on set completely perplexed. After about a 5 second delay, the guy came barging in to do his thing, and thought he had nailed it. <laughs> and then he got up and he was like, I think that went well. If that was a bit by the stunt guy, kind of weird. They eventually got the scene done on their fifth take. Number 5. Who would have guessed being a character on Stranger Things would mean you have to take golf lessons? That's exactly what Charlie Heaton and Eduardo Franco had to do to prepare for one of their scenes. The scene has them hitting golf balls off a ridge down into a junk pit, so they needed to have proper golf form. They went to a fancy country club, and the wardrobe department gave them very yuppie, golfy, golfing outfits to go. Which Eduardo absolutely hated. It's actually super difficult. Just hitting it was so hard. Like, there's so much technique. Luckily for them, their shots didn't have to be perfect, as CGI was used for some of them. That shot's definitely CGI. There's no way Eduardo hit that. Number 6. Let's go to the roller rink. Millie Bobby Brown and Noah Schnapp had a ton of fun filming their Rinko Mania scenes. They filmed these scenes at the real Roller King location in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In their downtime, Millie would play some music over the speakers, and they would go skating around the rink. In one behind-the-scenes blooper, Millie and Noah ran headlong into each other, both falling to the ground in laughter. Honestly, this week at the roller rink has been a blast. Number 7. It seems as if there is a lot of downtime on set. During one of these times, Millie and Noah competed in the Fruit by the Foot Challenge, wherein they had to eat the gummy snack without using their hands. Millie took the victory and defended her title against Jimmy Fallon when she challenged him. Number 8. 
Noah Schnapp is known to be a big jokester on set, so when the opportunity arose for Millie to pull a practical joke on him, she didn't hesitate. During their last day of filming, Millie set up a water balloon ambush with the help of the crew. At 4am, she called Noah to get him back to set, and even fake cried to ensure he would be lured into her trap. When he arrived, he was greeted with a barrage of water balloons. According to Millie, the assault lasted for a whopping 15 minutes. Number 9 while filming a scene for the very last episode of season 4, Caleb McLaughlin had to make a noise, but it sounded sort of <coughs> odd. It was supposed to be a panic scene, but the noise kept making his co-star Mason die laugh. Caleb said it became a running joke between the two, which we can only assume means the two would make the goat-like noises around set. Number 10 the scene of the kids in the pizza van following Eleven's roller skate smackdown of Angela is supposed to be a sad and tense moment. However, Jonathan and Argyle's antics in the front seat had the kids cracking up. Charlie Heaton and Eduardo Franco improvised their blip 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 banter, and every time they did it, the three in the back of the van couldn't help but laugh. Blip 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 blip. Number 11. When you're shooting a production as large as Stranger Things, you don't have much time to sleep or eat. That formula made for a shockingly hilarious moment. During a night shoot in the middle of the woods, Sadie Sink decided to take a nap. When she woke up around 5.30am, she was greeted by Caleb and Gayton chowing down on full-size quesadillas in complete silence as they stared straight ahead. Sadie was bewildered by the moment and couldn't get over the absurdity of it all. I don't know why. <laughs> that just like, I don't know, it, sent, it <laughs> put me over the edge. That's the most I was like, I'm going hand. back to sleep. It may have been an odd moment for her, but Caleb stood by his decision. That was really good. Number 12. It can get very hot when filming outdoors in the summer heat. So the cast was really happy one day when ice pops were brought to set for them to enjoy. The only problem was the ants. Not to worry though, because Gayton had a genius solution. Because you had this idea where like, well what if we made a trail of popsicle <sighs> juice so that the ants, the ants so we could lure so the ants away. away. Did it work? Not exactly. The crew just ended up using ant spray. And yet, those popsicles were totally worth it. It was kind of a rough day, I remember, but the ice pops made it like... <sighs> Number 13. One of Finn Wolfhard's favorite memories from shooting this season was a simple one. He was just happy to be together with everyone. The gang was very split up in the previous season, so when they were mostly together right from the get-go, it was nice. Just being together was really nice. You savor those moments. Number 14. This season of Stranger Things was mostly filmed in New Mexico and Lithuania. The New Mexico location was used to recreate Southern California, and the cast and crew loved it. Also being in New Mexico has been like, so fun for me. It sounds like everyone had a great time on set, and that it was an experience they will never forget. And yeah, we've had a blast and it's been the best group. It sounds like everyone had a wonderful experience working on season four of Stranger Things and their enthusiasm and energy showed up on screen. Which behind the scenes moment was your favorite? Let us know, and thanks for stopping by at The Things.